Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we're going to talk about McKenzie, the new defensive rider that is available in the Frost Wreath season. Now, this is an interesting rider because it has specific tower type bonuses like the blue and red mage HP bonus. Now, there's a few different ways you can build him, and we're going to go through them now. You can focus on HP and both mages. You can get 10% HP bonus on both the blue and red mages, and as well as having a 9.5% tower HP general bonus, which I believe should stack on top of the mage towers with an additional 10% bonus. So each mage tower would have a 19.5% HP bonus. And then you would also have a 16.5% tower attack bonus, which would apply to all towers as well. Now, you'll also be able to put in an extra five points into either sheep farm production or storage. Another way to build it would be to focus on attack and the mage towers, which would allow you to get up to 22.5% tower attack, which is pretty high, as well as the 10% HP on both blue and red mages, but then you would only have an additional 3.5% tower HP bonus, which is pretty low when you compare the HP bonuses of many other riders, and again, the sheep production or storage. Another way to focus it would be HP and attack and not primarily focus on the mage towers. You would still be able to get the 10% bonus HP on one of the mage types so you could pick red or blue and that way it would allow you to get the 9.5% tower HP and the 22.5% tower attack. Now one interesting scenario where somebody pointed out that Mackenzie would be beneficial is potentially for a mage drain island to boost the HP of the red and blue mages. However, if you add up the total HP bonus to the mages, it's going to be less than some of the other riders that are available, which I'll show you soon. Um, so for me, I don't know that this rider is one that I would personally go for in my situation. However, if this is the first defensive rider you have the opportunity to get, it may be beneficial, especially if you don't have Atlas and will not have access to Krom, who we'll talk about shortly. Another thing about this defense rider is he does have a very high tower attack stat, which is better than most other riders. However, I prefer HP, as I've talked about in other videos, the bonus HP might be the difference that keeps your towers alive to get an extra shot off, to get another super shot off, or to allow that heal to land and keep the towers alive longer so that they can continue doing more damage. Whereas attack, even if you come out with a full force attack that's very highly boosted, many dragons have ways to avoid or block or decrease this damage and so i feel like the hp has a much greater benefit now let's compare mckenzie to the other riders that have been released and currently are available several of them were prior regular season riders which you will not be able to obtain but one that we'll talk about in particular is Krom that is available from the Atlas season, which means that you can get the blue rider shards from any season and unlock unlock Krom still. So if you look at Krom, for building for attack, he gets up to 28% attack with 13% HP, which is quite a bit higher than Mackenzie built for attack. But again, I'm going to focus more on HP because I feel strongly that this is much superior. So for Krom HP, he can get 23% bonus tower HP and 18% attack alongside it, which is very nice. When you compare it to Leilani, which is the one I currently have, built for HP gives 19% HP and 17.8% attack. So that 19% HP is 4% less than Krom, and I would benefit from having Krom, but I decided to not put my resources there at this time. Vivian has very similar stats to Leilani, and is another one that if you had Vivian, I wouldn't necessarily rush to getting Krom. Uh, you might benefit more from spending your resources another way, as far as maybe getting an offensive rider. However, if you have any of these other defensive riders, I would highly recommend you, if possible, to get Krom as soon as you can, because you will benefit significantly from that. And the last one I want to point out is if you look right underneath Krom, you see the Defender generic. That one is open to anyone with Atlas and can be unlocked with Red Rider Shards, which is great. You should unlock him and the three other ones that are available. Uh, this rider is beneficial because it can give up to 
12% construction reduction time, which is more than any other defensive rider available. So I recommend you getting this generic defender, level him up enough to get the full 12% reduction time, and then use that defense rider during fortification event to significantly decrease the amount of timers or speed ups that you will need to spend during your fortification events. So in summary, if you have Leilani or Vivian in particular or Krom, I don't think McKenzie is beneficial for your base unless, for example, you have Krom already as your main defense rider, you don't have any of the other defense riders, and you want another rider to put on a different perch for your mage drain island. In that situation, McKenzie might be beneficial because... Of course, you don't have any other defense riders, and Mackenzie is beneficial specifically in the situation for a Mage Drain Islands because of that specific Mage HP. But that would require you to invest your sigils into that line. Now, you do get more gold chests from rider lines, which is a benefit, but if you are torn between the rider and something else, you might benefit more from something else unless you really need those gold chests. And if this would be your first defense rider, I would probably recommend that you don't get this one and actually save for a different one in a future season or try to get into Atlas where you could get Chrome. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments or online. My ID is in the description below. And good luck with the rest of the season.